hi guys welcome to bookie's kitchen maze today i'm going to be showing you how i prepare one of nigeria's delicacies and that is catfish pepper soup i'm going to add some plantains in it but that's optional and um, some people enjoy it with boiled yams or boiled plantains or sometimes boiled potatoes but that's really up to you if you want to see how i've made this keep watching the ingredients we need for catfish pepper soup are one medium sized catfish which has been cut into pieces some chopped onions, some scent leaves, one medium sized yellow pepper, one medium sized red pepper, two tablespoons of pepper soup spice, some stock cubes, some chopped ginger, I beg your pardon, chopped garlic, chopped ginger, one tablespoon Cameroon pepper, two tablespoons crayfish and some salt. And I'm going to add some plantains in so that I can have it as a complete meal. The first thing I like to do when I'm cooking catfish is I like to pour some hot water over it. This helps it to, it helps it to toughen the skin and it helps um, the fish sort of stay together. It doesn't disintegrate when you start to cook it. So I'll just put them, I'll put the pieces in a bowl and I'll pour some hot water over it. This is just for a few seconds. The next thing I do is I take them out of the hot water and into the pot I'm going to cook the pepper soup in. Next, I'm going to add all of the spices and seasonings except for the plantains and the scent leaf. So here's the red pepper, the yellow pepper, the chopped onions, the crayfish, Cameroon pepper, the ginger and garlic. Now you have to be careful when you're doing this because it can get really spicy too quick so if you're not fond of too much pepper you have to watch the amount of uh, yellow pepper and red pepper that you use. I used both peppers because the yellow, uh, the yellow pepper has a different sort of flavor and I quite like the flavor. You don't have to use it but I don't mind the pepper so I'm using the, all the kinds of peppers I can find. So next I'll add the stock cube and a little bit of salt. and then the pepper soup spice goes in. There's no particular order for this. You just um, sort of add in all the ingredients, except for the leaves and the yams or plantains if you're using any. I'll add the water next, enough to cover the fish. I'll stir it a little bit. The pepper soup has been cooking for about 10 minutes now. I'm just going to add in the um, plantains before it's done cooking. You can add plantains, you can add yams, you can add potatoes, just whatever you like. And it's not compulsory, I'm just adding this because I'm going to have this pepper soup for lunch. So I just want it as a complete meal. I'm going to turn back the heat to medium heat and leave it for another 10 minutes to 10 to 15 minutes to really cook. Next thing I'm going to do is chop up the uh, the scent leaves while I'm waiting for that to cook. So this is washed scent leaves and um, you don't need too many. It also gives the pepper soup some flavor. This is going to be added just before I turn off the heat on the pepper soup. Okay, it's another 12 minutes gone now. The plantain's cooked, the fish is cooked. I'm going to add the 
scent leaves. Sort of stir it in a little bit. I'll leave it for another one minute, then I'll turn off the heat and my catfish pepper soup with plantain is ready. My catfish and plantain pepper soup is ready. The smell of this is just divine. So I'll just dish this now and show it to you. So my catfish pepper soup with plantain is ready and it tastes absolutely delicious. I hope you guys will try out this recipe. If you do, um, share your experience with me and if you make your pepper soup a different way, please share your um, experience in the comment section and leave me suggestions or questions as you always do. Thank you guys for watching. Bon appétit.